I thought this week I would take a break from making produce and we would stop and make something to put some of that produce in. So join me today as I show you a simple method for making this cute little bushel basket out of paper and glue. Well, let's start out by talking about what we need in order to make our baskets. We need paper, we need cardstock. And I'm using this kind of off, kind of creamy color because I wanted it to look like wood and it was the closest that my craft store had to the color of the balls of the basswood. So this is the color I'm using. You can use any color you want. You'll need a ruler. You'll need scissors. You'll need a way to cut your paper into strips too and we'll talk about that in a moment. So either a craft knife or I'll tell you about a little shortcut in a moment. You need some glue and for this I'm using regular tacky glue. We don't want the really thick glue for this one. We need a one inch hole punch. Wet wipes. Really important to have wet wipes because we're going to get lots of glue on our fingers. Something to apply the glue with. I'm using toothpicks. Um, a pair of tweezers. If you've got a pair of tweezers like this pair that lock, that's really helpful for this project. Otherwise, regular tweezers. You'll need something to form your basket around that's one inch in diameter. And I'm using a one inch dowel. And on the end of the one inch dowel, I have wrapped electrical tape. And this electrical tape is three-fourths of an inch wide. And I wrapped it around. And this is going to serve two purposes, and we'll talk about this when we get to that part. So let me get set up, and I'll show you what we need to do. All right, we need a one inch circle punched from our paper, and we also need some strips that are a quarter of an inch wide. You can either cut these with a knife, or since I needed a lot of strips cut from the paper, all the same size and all really straight, I took the um, shredder part off of my paper shredder. I have one that just cuts strips, it doesn't crimp or anything, and I just ran, very carefully ran my sheet of one of my sheets of cardstock through the shredder and it made a whole pile of nice straight strips. Now they do have kind of ragged edges, but because I want this to look like wood, I'm okay with that. They just look a little rough, like they've been a little beat up. So you need strips. Uh, the first thing we are going to do is we're going to make the inside top of our basket. And we've wrapped the tape around this this dowel right at the end so we've got it because we're, we're using this for two reasons this is giving us a height for our basket my baskets are all three-fourths of an inch tall or that translates to nine inches and this keeps my paper from sticking to my dowel when I'm using it so let me get some glue out and I'm just gonna put this on my tile off to the side and the beauty of that is you can just scrape it off your, your tile when you're done. Now, we need to take a, one of our strips, see if I can juggle my dowel and have it in the camera. And we're going to run this around. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight at this point because right now we're just making the inside of our basket rim. We're going to cut it so it overlaps enough to make a secure bond. Make sure this is still on the tape because it needs to be big enough to go around the tape. Put some glue on. And just hold it down. And then wiggle it around and wiggle this off. You want this to dry off of your dowel. And really make sure that your, your strip is lined up and really smash it together. All right, that needs to be set off to the side. Now we need to cut six strips that are three inches long each. So I'm going to put one on my ruler and I'll use that. 
texture. And it doesn't have to be exact. I mean, you know, you could eyeball this if you need to. Just make it at least three inches long because we want to have extra. There's two. And the three inch measurement is for this size basket. If you're making them bigger, obviously you'll need longer strips. But this is a good size for what we're doing today. Put those off the side. You'll still need another piece of that. Now we are going to make three pairs of, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm losing my voice. Three pairs of strips. And we are going to glue, put glue in approximately the middle of one of these strips and lay another strip over it, approximately centered. Doesn't have to be exact again, but it needs to be pretty close. And push down, set that off to the side. Repeat that with the other two pair. This part goes pretty fast. Oops, it's not centered at all. Okay, let those set off the side. Now, because I'm filling my baskets, my baskets are all going to have produce inside of them. I'm putting a solid bottom on the inside of my baskets. If the basket was going to be done empty, I would have to skip this and just glue these together. But because I'm going to fill it, I can put this in, and it makes for a little bit stronger bond on the bottom. So I'm going to cover this with glue. There's going to be a lot of glue down here. And we're going to center one of these over it. We're going to put more glue. Now we're not going to center this one. We are going to put it to the side because what we need to do is leave room for the other set. Now, this is where I like to take my tweezers. These lock, so they're really nice. Put it up here and hold it. Now, this needs to dry before we can go on. Don't worry about the extra glue. This needs to dry, so I'm going to set this aside and let it dry, and I'll be back when the glue dries. All right, the glue is now pretty much dry, and it's time to move to our next step. So now we take our stick. Our mold. You could use anything that's an inch in diameter. For me, this worked really well. Um, not so easy on camera as it was without the camera because it's a little harder to hold where you guys can see. So take this strip that you already glued and line it up as best you can with the top of that tape. I'll get a fresh pile of glue over here. And we are going to run glue all the way around. For this you could probably just do it straight out of the bottle if you want to, but I just very seldom do my glue that way. Double check. Yeah, we're pretty well lined up. Take this and line it up at the bottom of the end of your dowel or your mold, your form, and start bending these up. And just kind of use your hand and get them straight. And get them as straight as you can and some of them are going to want to come up that's okay we can play with those in a minute now before the glue sets pull this off set your form to the side and once again this needs to dry but double check from time to time that these are sticking down if you've got one that pops up 
just put a little touch of glue under it and let it set. And just set that off the side. Wipe the glue off your fingers and let this dry now. This project is one of those where it's a lot of let's hurry up and wait for the glue to dry. So when this dries, I'll be back. Alright, this is sat now and it's pretty much dry. I mean, it doesn't have to be all the way dry. We're going to take our scissors and very carefully, I like to start there and then work from this direction so I can see. And I'm cutting off those upright pieces using the inside little edge. as my guide. Okay, brush those off to the side. I'm actually just going to use the glue out of the glue bottle this time. Now, once again, we slide this on here. This way we're keeping this nice and round, and by using this form you can make as many of these little baskets as you choose to and they'll all be pretty much the same. Depends on how careful you are on um, putting them together. And I think these would be really cute made out of other colors too. You could probably use these really neat in a kids room made out of bright colors. Alright, now we take another one of these strips of paper Around again, lining up with the top of our basket. I'm going to trim. And wet wipe here. All right, now a little more glue. And if you, again, if you've got the locking tweezers, this is a good place to use them. And then just let this dry. And when it's dry, we'll take a, another look at it. All right, so this is dry. So just take this off, and now we have a basket. And you can make lots and lots of these. If you're going to make them look like wood, like I, you know, like the the lightweight wood, like the traditional ones are made, like I am. Just leave them this way. If you want to make them look like plastic to like store things in a kid's room, you might want to coat them with a clear finish like a Mod Podge or something like that. Now I did, when I was doing the mushroom baskets, I actually filled the bottoms of a couple of these with just some balls of clay and put some TLS in the bottom and some balls of clay and baked them and they stayed together just fine in the oven for a short period of time so you can do that too but I hope you enjoyed this project and be sure and check us out on Facebook check the blog the links are below and I'll talk to you later bye